In the summer of 2020, after four months of remote teaching from home and extended periods of staying home to combat the spread of COVID-19, I embarked on my usual summer running challenge starting on July 9th. This time, however, it took off more than I'd expected it to, and I extended it way past the end of August with my mantra of seven kilometers before 7 a.m. Aside from two days over the August long weekend of 2020, I ran every single day, whether it was pouring rain, the sun was shining, or my eyelashes were almost freezing my eyes totally shut in insanely cold winter temperatures. In August 2021, I hit my official 365 day running streak, but I knew I wanted to press on to complete my goal of running every single day for a calendar year. I kept track with a running tracker I printed from the internet onto cardstock, and every day I filled in another space. Happy New Year's Eve 2021, folks! I did it! My tracker is full. Here's a look at some of the 2021 highlights. Total kilometers, 2,647.88 kilometers in 365 days for an average of 7.25 kilometers every day of the year. I did 352 outdoor runs out of my 365 days. Some days I had to run on the treadmill, one time I ran at the gym at Spruce Home, and one time I ran down the hallway back and forth in my cousin's apartment. Pairs of shoes, four. Coldest run, minus 51 Celsius on February 7th. There were many times this year that the school buses didn't run, but I still did. Hottest run, plus 36 on July 15th. Windiest run, wind gusts of 63 kilometers an hour on May 29th. Weirdest weather conditions, freezing fog. This happened twice, and once it even happened in conjunction with wildfire smoke and air quality warnings in October. The month with the biggest temperature swing, March. 33 degrees Celsius difference, from minus 11 to plus 22. Followed closely by July, which ranged from 6 to 36 degrees Celsius. Worst conditions for running, freezing rain, March 29th and 30th. Fewest hours of sleep before a run, four. I went to bed at 1.30 in the morning. It was not a great idea. Wettest run, see for yourself. Shortest run, one pity kilometer on the treadmill to keep the street going. Longest run, 22.54 kilometers around the rotary trail. Sometimes weird things happen when I run that are not related to the weather. For those that know my history of the really out there things that have happened to me while running, Thankfully, 2021 was uneventful in that regard. On May 24th, I ran past an active murder investigation and I waved to a police officer in the driveway at 6.30 a.m. I didn't realize what had happened until I read the news later. I have literally run to the bank to buy something at Canadian Tire, to mom and dad's house for a visit, and again to literally run errands whenever possible. I've seen geese, deer, the occasional skunk, not to mention the many dogs that got pats and belly rubs when I stopped on the trail to greet them. In December, I drove nine hours to Winnipeg and by the time I got settled there, my cousin's apartment gym wasn't open and it was too late and dark to go for a run outside. So I literally ran up and down her apartment hallway. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. At the end of November, I started experiencing some pain in my right heel. I powered through December but reduced my mileage, and I will be taking a look at it with my doctor in the new year. In the end, I'm crazy proud of my accomplishment, and I couldn't resist documenting it. All of the 5.30 a.m. alarms, the sleepy 6 a.m. starts, the loads of laundry and drawers full of running clothes, they were all worth it for the mental clarity, the beautiful sunrises, my running buddies, the heart-pumping start to every day as I pounded the pavement, the time alone with my thoughts and the beauty of my own neighborhood and the feeling of accomplishment that it all brought. Happy New Year, everyone, and good luck to you as you work towards whatever goals you have on your horizons in 2022.